Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book Fear Less, a creation by Pippa Grange. Fear Less 2021 explores the various ways in which fear seeps into our lives, bringing about unfavorable effects on our work, relationships, and personal contentment. Often, we are unaware of our own fears, yet recognizing the root causes of our anxieties and insecurities is the initial stride toward living a richer, more fearless existence. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Dr. Pippa Grange is a renowned sports psychologist and culture coach. In her role as head of people and team development at the Football Association, she dedicated her efforts to enhancing the psychological resilience of the England team. Additionally, she is a valued member of the leadership team at Right to Dream, a prominent global group. With seven key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, the text highlights the importance of facing fears in order to live life more fully. It encourages individuals to challenge themselves and step outside of their comfort zones. By doing so, they can experience personal growth and discover new opportunities. Emphasizing the idea of personal benefit, it encourages individuals to overcome their fears and reap the rewards of a more fulfilling life. The text highlights that fear can be subconscious and not easily identified. It suggests that our true fears may be different from what we think they are, often related to failure or feeling unlovable. Society perpetuates fear through harmful myths, and our own brains instinctively respond to perceived danger. Overcoming fear requires help from experts like psychologists and free divers. The text also mentions the importance of having a sense of purpose and holding on to lucky charms. Lastly, it explains that our brains are still wired similarly to our ancestors, reacting to fear as if we were cave dwellers. Key idea number one, harmful societal myths are responsible for many of our deeply rooted fears. Many of our fears are caused by harmful societal myths, such as the idea that life is a competition and that fear is a good motivator. However, genuine success comes from adaptability, creativity and collaboration. Failure is a natural part of life and can actually be beneficial. Instead of fearing failure and buying into societal myths, we should embrace it and challenge our own beliefs. Key idea number two, evolutionary design emphasizes that fear has a significant impact on the mind and body. Fear has a strong impact on our minds and bodies due to evolutionary design. The amygdala activates the fight or flight response when sensing danger. However, this can create tension as one part of our brain focuses on survival and avoiding risks, while another part focuses on expansion and innovation. Fear-based reactions originate in the subconscious and can cause physical symptoms and negative effects on decision-making and critical thinking skills. Fear also makes us more xenophobic. To combat fear, solid strategies are needed. Key idea number three. To prepare for scary situations, it is helpful to practice techniques such as rationalization and using a mantra. William Truebridge, a free diving champion, can hold his breath for four minutes as he dives to extreme depths without any equipment. He relies on psychological resilience and techniques like rationalization and mantras to manage fear in the moment. One technique is to use a deliberate routine like breathing exercises or positive affirmations. Rationalization and distraction can also be effective. The key is preparation and practice, treating anxiety management as part of training for life. Key idea number four, acknowledging hidden fears is an essential step in addressing and overcoming them. The text discusses the idea that some fears are hidden and need to be acknowledged in order to be addressed. It uses the example of Jake, who lived in fear of his sexuality and kept it hidden. This fear affected his happiness and relationships. The breakthrough moment for Jake came when he confronted his fear and was able to understand it better. 
He came out to his parents and experienced their love and support. The text emphasizes the importance of acknowledging and confronting fear as the first step towards resolving it. Key idea number five, to overcome fear, it is important to change the stories we tell ourselves. By reframing our thoughts and beliefs, we can break free from fear and embrace a new mindset. The key point of this text is that changing the stories we tell ourselves can help us break free from fear and create a new reality. The text also uses the example of a social enterprise called Amin Nima in Nima, Ghana, to show how changing perceptions can make a difference in difficult conditions. It emphasizes the idea of flipping the script and challenging negative perceptions. The text also suggests asking questions about our behavior and making conscious decisions to break free from restrictive patterns. Finally, it mentions the power of purpose and encourages us to consider what we truly want. Key idea number six, fear can be overcome through having a strong sense of purpose or by surrendering. Khalida Papal grew up in a repressive environment in Kabul where girls were not allowed to go to school or participate in activities like soccer. She overcame her fear and fought for women's right to play soccer in Afghanistan, despite facing death threats. Popal believes that having a sense of purpose can provide stability and motivation in the face of fear. To find your purpose, reflect on what you care about and the lessons from your upbringing. Alternatively, surrendering to fear and trusting in something bigger than yourself can also help cope with fear and relinquish control. Key idea number seven. Struggles are inevitable in life, but it's important to remember that you are not alone. Struggle and suffering are a part of life that allow us to learn and grow. Repressing negative emotions can have negative effects. Recognize your fears and how they have impacted your relationships. Connect with others to find strength and resilience. Opening up and being authentic can lead to a sense of security. Overcoming fears is possible through connection with others. In conclusion, the main idea is that fear can limit us, but we can overcome it by identifying our fears and finding strategies that work for us. It is important to have a sense of purpose and to connect with others. The advice is to not suppress emotions, but to let them flow and express them in whatever way works for us. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.